If someone says Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever is the worst movie they have ever seen, they are lying. And if someone says this is the best movie they have ever watched, they are also lying. Because this is the most average movie I have seen. The first movie was also kinda average, but what made that movie good was Chadwick Boseman and Michael B. Jordan. Sadly, Chadwick Boseman passed away, so the movie had its script written based off of him and after that they had to change some stuff and the movie does feel like that. It feels like the main character is missing and we are following all the side characters or the supporting characters and the plot would finally move towards a main character but that never happens. One thing I absolutely have to say is Angela Bassett as Ramonda, T'Challa's mom. She plays the role phenomenally. She portrays the character a grieving mother yet a strong queen. That's how you write strong female characters. Not like Riri Williams who out of the blue comes out and makes the whole movie happen as part of her science project. If you have seen the movie you know what I mean and I don't want to spoil too much but yeah the whole movie happens due to Riri Williams fuckery and to my surprise I thought Leticia Wright Shuri can feel kinda cringy cause in the first movie she was a supporting character and now in this movie she is a new main character so it, I, I thought it would be cringy but she is not. She does a good job and one thing I have to say the CG on this movie is good but still it feels like something's missing. I don't know if they would change some CG stuff for the movie when released online or not but at the end scene there is a fight with Namor and Shuri and the CG does seem kinda iffy. Overall this is an average movie but what makes it watchable is the actors and actresses and the worst part of the movie is kinda similar to all other MCU movies at this point. Instead of telling or focusing on the main story we have at hand, MCU is trying to set up 100 different things for the future. Now we have Val in the CIA who could set up the Thunderbolts. We have Riri Williams as Ironheart who is definitely going to have her own series on Disney Plus. Then I think Shuri could have her own spin-off show with her and M'Baku going on a rivalry or friendly stuff, I don't know. And we also have Michonne from Walking Dead and Bilbo Baggins from Hobbits go together on a buddy cop because the ending where Okoye saves Everett Frost, they could definitely make a good team up show. And if you feel interested in any of this, well, I guess you would probably like this movie. And if not, you are going to feel it an average movie as I did. And yeah, yeah this movie does have its great moments, but there are also not so great moments. So overall, if you ask me, this will be a 5 or 6 out of 10. Because the first movie I would have given it 8 or 9, but this is not quite that level.